Good afternoon. For those who are new, I'm Dr. Theron Sherman, and today we'll be going over SCP-7254. The only thing close to objectionable material I can see in this article is some murder and some harm to children, which is a Tuesday here at the Foundation, so you've been warned. Let's get into it. Item Number SCP-7254 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures SCP-7254 is contained in a standard humanoid cell located in Site-24's E-Wing. The subject remains in a subdued state, and is to be provided with one gallon of goat's blood by no less than two D-Class personnel on the first day of each month. Investigation into SCP-7254's origin remains ongoing. Description SCP-7254 is a Tartarian entity of unclear classification, presently inhabiting the body of eight-year-old Abigail Burr. SCP-7254 exhibits most of the characteristics associated with possessive demons, namely unnatural strength, heightened resistance to injury, and insatiable appetite for human flesh. While capable of speech, SCP-7254's vocalizations are largely incoherent, though Foundation linguists have identified trace fragments of Sanskrit, Sumerian, and Old Davic. As determined through ectographic analysis, SCP-7254's natural form is that of a tall chimeric humanoid, reminiscent of Daemonium vulgaris, possessing porcine, corvine, and pisine attributes. Conventional methods of excising SCP-7254 from the host, including standardized exorcism procedures, have thus far been unsuccessful. The Department of Mythology and Folkloristics is consulting relevant historical sources for information regarding SCP-7254, under the presumption that uncovering its true name may grant the Foundation some degree of influence. SCP-7254 came to Foundation attention after killing 31 civilians at a compound belonging to a <laughs> now defunct Christian sect known as the Fellowship of the True Faith, of which Burr's parents were recent initiates. Fellowship doctrine was noted for its unorthodox views on the nature of disease, believing all physical ailments to be caused by demonic possession. Three weeks prior to SCP-7254's manifestation, Abigail Burr was subject to trepanation, a medical procedure whereby a small hole is drilled directly into the skull by fellowship doctors, ostensibly in an effort to cure her epilepsy. There is no evidence to suggest that SCP-7254 was deliberately invoked. Foundation demonologists have hypothesized that the entity may have become stranded in the material universe at some point in the past, presumably the result of a failed summoning attempt. SCP-7254 likely gravitated towards Burr as her open skull cavity allowed ease of access to a living host. One of the surviving church members was Dr. Anthony Harrigan, whose wife and son were both killed in the attack. Dr. Harrigan, who was one of the physicians tasked with overseeing Burr's trepanation, later testified that prior to his collapse from blood loss, SCP-7254 thanked him. Alright class, your assignment for this week is to write up a report on how the information contained in this article could be used for the benefit of the Foundation. My perspective idea is that we summon 5 to 10 demons, have them sign work contracts with the Foundation that legal assures us has no loopholes, lobotomize the same amount of mobile task force members, that way they have the muscle memory for their training intact, and we end up with a team of frickin' demons, able to rival even Samsara out in the field. Good luck topping that one, Agents. I'll expect your proposals in the comments by 2100 hours. Dismissed. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.